Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about custom server side validation. Let's open open the Visual Studio. New project. Custom validation. Select empty project MVC. Okay. Create a class name is age attribute click add so inherit that one validation attribute Add the namespace and override. Override is valid method. If value does not equal to null int is equal to convert to and to 32 that value if age is less than 18 then return new recent result Age of the user must be greater than eighteen. And return validation result to success. Now we will add one controller that is your home controller and after that we will add one class that is model that is the user model So it will be here that string first name, name and age. For user age. So for user age, this one I'm going to use age attribute, which uh, which one we have created. Here I have written that age attribute, but here I am using that age only. Just, just like that, uh, it's a controller and a home controller, but uh, we are using that a uh, home. Either now create a view. And just return from here new. user model okay. 
view here model fully qualified name this one that models that user model now we'll create HTML dot begin form and here also that uh, index action name home form method dot post HTML dot label for M dot name HTML dot text box for HTML dot validation message for same we have to do for each user each then we will do that input type sub circuit just a little bit we go from here we create one more action method the user model User model and this one will be HTTP post. Post if this valid. Success dot here returning the only string. If it's not success, it will return that just run it. So here we will enter that plugin. If I will enter here 50 or uh, 5, just click that create. See, get that error. Because age of the user must be greater than 18. So that is a custom validation. If you will be 10, then again you will get error. If you will add 20, then you will enter create. See, that is a success data. Let's see what we have done. I have created that one class that I have mentioned the name of age attribute. So I am inheriting that validation attribute and overwrite that is valid. That value, this value, what we are 
user is entered that is that is the value so if you checking that if it's not null then first i am converting that one into integer then here i am checking that one if it's less than 18 then return that message otherwise return success in the home controller just i am returning that object and i am getting that value if its model state is success is is valid then it will return the success otherwise same object will return in that index html same thing i am doing okay wait same label for error for error this one i am getting validation message for m dot user age so run it so three two then error if it's 12, then also you will get error. If it's 20, then it's a success. I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching.